Hello again and thanks for watching. This is another of the uh, shuttle training videos and we are going to talk about uh, one of our newest uh, bourbon systems, our X27. Um, this is, uh, well in this case, our X27D. Uh, this is a very small form factor system, uh, uh, bourbon system, which is based on the new Atom uh, chip from Intel. Um, let's uh, extract the bourbons from the box. This is a little box it comes in, as you can see, very nicely packed. And uh, let's see the box on the side to pull out the bourbon. Uh, usually this is, for me, this is the safest way to uh, pull it out of the box. Let's put it over here. The bourbon comes with its little uh, power supply, as you can see. Form at the front and form at the back. Uh, it also includes its uh, power cord and uh, a bag with some uh, accessories, mostly screws and a couple of uh, uh, zip ties to, you know, to tie the wire. We're going to need these uh, little screws uh, for our assembly. We're going to show you, uh, show you how to assemble this uh, uh, little guy here. In the case of this uh, system, uh, the, the Atom chip is dual core. So it means uh, high performance, but lower uh, power consumption. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the built-in uh, components of uh, devices on this system. As you can see, uh, it includes two PS2 for keyboard and mouse, uh, a serial uh, port, uh, a VGA uh, port, and a DVI port for video. It can handle two monitors at the same time, uh, provided the DVI monitor is a digital monitor. Um, we also have uh, four USB ports, an Ethernet port for networking, and three uh, audio ports. Also, over here is the uh, power uh, in intake. And uh, in other uh, systems, you might be able to see a punch hole for wireless on this side. Uh, this is not the case on this specific system. Now let's talk about the front panel. Okay, here we have um, this little door here that uh, allocates the another two uh, USB ports and uh, audio ports on this uh, part. Uh, also this little door that will uh, cover the optical part. Also notice that we have the power button on this little corner. Uh, let's not uh, forget that uh, you need to push it to <laughs> make it work. Now let's open it up to see how it looks inside. The top cover is uh, uh, fastened by two very convenient uh, thumb screws. You just uh, need to manually unscrew them and then just uh, slide out the top cover like this. Okay, as you can see, we have the tray for the two drives, which uh, you just slide back and then up to remove it. And here you can allocate your optical drive and your hard drive. Uh, let's take care of that in a little while. And let's talk a little bit about uh, our motherboard. As you can see, it has uh, two SATA ports for the drives. Uh, it also includes an ID port. Uh, for It's meant for the optical drive provided you uh, uh, use an adapter uh, for this. Today we recommend to use uh, SATA optical drives. The IDE, at least in this uh, part of California, is pretty hard to, to get, so uh, we recommend you to stick with SATA uh, drives for the, for the optical drive. Uh, it also includes one slot of memory which uh, uh, supports up to two gigs. Uh, and this uh, heatsink uh, here is hidden on the Atom CPU, which is dual core. And this is the heatsink for the chipset 
945 GC uh, from Intel. Uh, there are some uh, USB devices attached to the um, to the motherboard, uh, as you saw the front panel uh, has some uh, audio and USB uh, ports. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, assemble the rest of our components. Now, since the CPU is built into uh, the motherboard, uh, all you will need will be these three components, your memory, hard drive, and optical drive. Okay, let's uh, uh, insert our memory first. Okay, bring your uh, stick of memory up to the slot, uh, open the, the latches on the sides, and just insert it in Push a little bit hard on a single move and it should snap right in. Okay, let's uh, install our two drives. Uh, maybe you can notice in the, uh, some legends here on the tray. This one says A Connect. Okay, and then we have a B Connect. Okay, there are also two arrows here in the back pointing to the screw holes which uh, are also labeled so you would like to uh, insert your hard drive accordingly in this case we are going to use the big connect side and we are going to seed our hard drive like this and make sure we use the uh, B screw holes uh, as labeled here. <laughs> 